welcome back hearty welcome to you we are solving some examples as part of mathematical induction so we have a example to solve let's try to solve it together we have to prove that the expression 3 into 5 to the power of 2n plus 1 plus 2 to the power of 3n plus 1 is divisible by 17 where n is a natural number or a counting number so we have three steps for any mathematical induction proof as you are aware first we have to prove that it's true for a specific value generally we go ahead with n equal to 1 after that we have to assume that it is true for a particular a a generic value like n equal to k if we have assumed that then we have to prove that it's also true for n equal to k plus 1 so that's nothing but the inductive step so we have three steps induction inductive basis inductive hypothesis and inductive step so let's go ahead with the step number one we have to prove that the expression is divisible by 17 so let me just go ahead and substitute 1 in this whole expression so what it becomes it becomes 3 into 5 to the power of 2 into 1 plus 1 plus 2 to the power of 3 into 1 plus 1 that's nothing but equal to 2 into 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so I can write it as 3 into 5 cube plus 2 to the power of 4 now let's simplify this 3 into 5 cube that's 125 plus 2 to the power of 4 is 16 if we simplify this further 3 into 125 is 375 plus 16 is 391 which is a multiple of 17 because 17 into 23 equal to 391 so we have proved the step 1 let's move to the step 2 in step 2 we have to assume that it's true for n equal to k so let's assuming assuming that the expression is divisible by n equal to k assuming true for n equal to k what I will have is instead of n I have to substitute k so I will write 3 into 5 to the power of 2k plus 1 plus 2 to the power of 3k plus 1 is divisible by 17 this is what I am assuming that is inductive hypothesis now the next step is if I have assumed this I should prove that it's true for n equal to k plus 1 so let's go ahead to the step 3 then we have to prove step 3 is we have to prove that the LHS or you can say the whole expression is divisible by 17 for n to the power of for n equal to k plus 1 3 into 5 to the power of 2n plus 1 plus 2 to the power of 3n plus 1 is divisible by 17 for n equal to k plus 1 that's what we have to prove now how the expression looks like if I substitute n equal to k plus 1 let's have a look at that now I will have 3 into 5 to the power of wherever k is there instead of k I have to substitute n equal to k plus 1 so it becomes 2 into k plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 to the power of 3 into k plus 1 plus 1 this is nothing but equal to 3 into 5 to the power of 2k plus 3 plus 2 to the power of 3k plus 4 now I have to prove that 
3 into 5 to the power of 2k plus 3 plus 2 to the power of 3k plus 4 is divisible by 17. This is what I have to prove, right? Now let us see what are the tools we have. Now, what is the better way to start and prove this? Now we have assumed that it's divisible by 17, n equal to k, the expression whatever we have, 3 into 5 to the power of 2k plus 1 plus 2 to the power of 3k plus 1. We have assumed that it is divisible by 17. So what I will try to do is, I will try to check the correlation between n equal to k plus 1 and n equal to k and see how they are related. So I will try to see how I can correlate them. So if I take n equal to k plus 1, I have 3, 3 as it is. Then I have 5 to the power of 2k plus 3. I can write it as 5 to the power of 2k plus 1 into 5 square. So it's nothing but first term into 5 square plus 2 to the power of 3k plus 4 I have. I can write it as 2 to the power of 3k plus 1 into 2 cube. So if I take if I take n equal to k expression and multiply it by 5 square, I will get the first term of n equal to k plus 1. So what we are trying to do here is we are trying to convert n equal to k plus 1, whatever I have to prove, as a multiple of as a multiple of n equal to k because we already assumed that this is divisible by 17. So we want to make it as a multiple of Seven multiple of n equal to k plus 1 as a multiple of n equal to k expression whatever I have. Now what I will do straightforward is I will go ahead and take n equal to k term here say 3 into 5 to the power of 2k plus 1 because that's what I want to make it a multiple. So 2 to the power of 3k plus 1. Now this if I multiply with 5 square, that's nothing but equal to, if you observe, the first term of n equal to k plus 1. But in the second term, I should have only 8 into 2 to the power of 3k plus 1. But now I have 25 into 2 to the power of 3k plus 1. So I should subtract minus 17 into 2 to the power of 3k plus 1. I hope you are clear with that. Let me explain again. We have assumed for n equal to k it's true. So we have assumed that 3 into 5 to the power of 2k plus 1 plus 2 to the power of 3k plus 1 is divisible by 17. Now we have to prove that the expression is divisible by n equal to k plus 1. So we when we have substituted n equal to k plus 1, we have seen that th whatever the terms I am getting, the first term is multiple of of 25 and the second term is I am multiplying with 8 then I am getting this. So I want to make the whole expression as a multiple of n equal to k expression. So I have multiplied with 25. When I multiply with 25 I see that the first term of n equal to k plus 1 and what I have written is matching. But if I look at the second term, I have 2 to the power of 3k plus 1 into 8. But since I am multiplying by 25, I have to subtract 17 to make it to make it that it's exactly equal to the previous statement. So in nutshell, we are trying to manipulate n equal to k expression in such a way, multiply it with a particular number and subtract in such a way that we can get n equal to k plus 1. So what we are trying to do here is n equal to k expression. We are multiplying with some number and we are subtracting so that we can get n equal to k plus 1. And this is 17 into something so that we know that this term is multiple of 17. This is also multiple of 17. So you can say that whole expression is multiple of 17. Okay. Now what will be my next step? My next step will be this is nothing but equal to 25 into we know that this whole thing is a multiple of 17 so let us say that's nothing but 17 into some p some value I have taken minus 17 into 2. Now you can see that I can take 17 common it will become 25 into p minus 34. 
so we can see that this is nothing but a multiple of 17 because you are multiplying 17 with this whole expression so that's how we can prove that it's true for n equal to k plus 1 also so what we have done is we started with first step n equal to 1 we have proven that uh, the expression is divisible by 17 then we have assumed that it is true for n equal to k when I have assumed that it's true for n equal to k the expression looks like 3 into 5 to the power of 2k plus 1 plus 2 into 3 to the power of k plus 1 now I have to prove that the expression for n equal to k plus 1 whatever is it is divisible by 17 so I just went to the problem and substituted wherever I have k k plus 1 to see what the expression is resulting out and I see that it's nothing but 3 into 5 to the power of 2k plus 3 plus 2 to the power of 3k plus 4 this I have to prove now that it is divisible by 17 now I have only two tools with me one is any number multiplied by any number or multiplied by 17 is a multiple of 17 and also n equal to k whatever I have I have assumed that it's a multiple of 17 so I want to leverage this and manipulate this in such a way that I can get n equal to k plus 1 expression out of it so what I have done I have written n equal to k plus 1 and I have expanded it and I have seen that the first term of n equal to k plus 1 is nothing but 25 into first term of n equal to k and the second term of n equal to k plus 1 is nothing but equal to second 8 times of second term of n equal to k that means I can multiply n equal to k with a number 25 I can say that this whole expression whatever I have is multiple of 17 because I know that this is we have assumed that it's true for n equal to k but when I did that I have seen that the second term is not satisfying so I have to subtract 17 into 2 to the power of 3k plus 1 so when I take 7 I know that n equal to k is nothing but multiple of 17 so if I take it as p I know that n equal to k expression is 17 into p minus 17 into 2 to the power of 3k plus 1 so I will have if I take common 17 I will have 25 P minus 2 to the power of 3k plus 1 which will be which will prove that the whole expression is multiple of 17 so that's how three steps first step prove n equal to 1 second step assume for n equal to k third step n equal to k plus 1 in that remember always take n equal to k and manipulate it in such a way that you will get n equal to k plus 1 and you will get two terms those two terms will be multiple of 17 so that's what we have seen so see you in the next video we'll solve some more examples as part of mathematical induction thanks for visiting bye for now